Well, everybody, uh, we're back here at the Mill City Roastery in Northeast Minneapolis, and we're gonna do a little, a little quick seasoning roast. Um, I'm really lucky today because I have a brand new roasting machine to basically put through its paces. So right to my left here, we have a 3 kg um, roaster, three kilogram uh, max, max charge capacity. Um, this is actually a new machine that we're not selling yet, so I'm just gonna call it the mystery machine, but it does have the full control panel that we offer on our machine 6K and up. So it's quite a complex new 3K that I'm gonna kind of test and put through its paces. But first we're gonna do a seasoning roast because first you gotta season your drum before you can really uh, start to roast coffee that you wanna cup and taste. This is kind of a traditional kind of uh, Moose City thing that we do with new customers is the seasoning roast. So I'm just gonna kind of do a really quick summary of like a walkthrough summary of what I would actually do if it was a really live thing. I've set the machine up so we're, we're pretty good to go, but I just, wanna, I just wanna walk you guys through what I would do. So basically the first thing I wanna do is I wanna check gas pressure. I'm gonna ask you what your max gas pressure is. And a lot of people are gonna say, hey, the gauge goes up to this much. That's really not what I'm asking. Really what I'm asking is, what did you pay for? You know, you had, a, you had someone come out and install a gas line and they asked you what kind of gas pressure you needed and then you paid for that. So max gas pressure is the, is the question, one of the first questions I'm gonna ask. Three main questions that I go over. Gas pressure is the first one. So I'm just gonna walk you through that. What's the max gas pressure? All right, let's fire up the roaster. I have the air running really high so I can cool off the machine so that I can achieve the high pressure and not hit the temp where it'll shut itself off. Okay, so now I have it to 3300. And it's looking like it's struggling right there. So it looks like 3100. 3100 is max gas pressure. So we know that. So that's how you're gonna test your max gas pressure is you're basically just gonna open up your gas valve and see what kind of gas pressure you get or you'll know your max gas pressure based on the gas person that you hired to install your gas pressure and they'll tell you. So we're good to go there. Okay, well the second question I'm gonna ask is duct work. I'm gonna ask about your duct work and I'm gonna look at your duct work. So, lovely, I love this duct work. Um, we, we set this up, so I know it, plus it's the same duct setup as the previous 3K, so I know it's solid. So, excellent duct setup, really like it. Butterfly valve is installed, it's completely open, that's the way I want to see it in the beginning, so it's great. Um, then the last question is going to be drum speed. What kind of drum speed are we running? You know, I'm not, and that question isn't about hertz, it's about actual drum speed. So on this one, I have it at 45 hertz on this one, but I've already done a hard count on the drum rotation. And roughly this one at 45 hertz is around 65 RPMs drum. So then that, that's what we got for drum speed. So we're running like 65 RPMs drum speed. We have an okay duct setup. So it looks like the roaster is completely warmed up. The gas pressure is good, duct setup is good, and drum cap is good. So I'm gonna do a full kg charge, or say a full three kg charge for this roast. So basically it's a simple plan, 400 degree charge temp. I'm gonna run my air at 19. So I'm gonna have 19 air. Oh, that's it, 19 air. I'm gonna turn my ignition off right now because we're gonna get ready to charge here in a bit. So I'm gonna use a 400 degree charge temp. I'm gonna write that down. I'm gonna have 19 air and I'm gonna have zero fuel. At one minute, I'm gonna hit the ignition switch and I'm gonna do 2200. Uh, gas pressure digital or that would be 2.2 kPa for my gas and then from there I'm just gonna monitor the roast the goals for this roast will say five to six minutes for dry end this is just a test roast I just want to get really dark in a second to prep the drum and to get a lot of oil and stuff like that and to really put the machine through its paces so we're not drinking this coffee this coffee is gonna go right in the garbage actually we're gonna go deep in a second five to six to dry then we'll say 11 to 12 for first and then we're gonna go plus three minutes deep into second. I want the beans to be oily. I want them actually, I'm gonna take them dark, then they're gonna get shiny, then they're gonna get oily, and we're gonna drop before the, it becomes super oily and the oil will start to bubble because then you're getting close to flash point. But I wanna go deep into second. So that's our plan. Um, I think we're ready to go here. The machine's gonna cool down, I'll get ready to charge. All right, we'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so that's how a seasoning roast goes. It went pretty quick. The 3kg is a really powerful little machine. So I actually, I think I finished my seasoning roast in like sub 10 minutes. So I took it deep in a second. The coffee's just started to get a little oily and I just saw a few of the darker beans kind of start to bubble a little oil before I let it out. Now, if I would have done this again a second time, I would try and contain the beans in the drum a little longer. 
bring them right up to that dark wavy point, and then actually kill the heat, increase the airflow, and keep those beans in the drum for another four or five minutes, just to really get my money's worth out of the beans. But you know, for a first run on a brand new machine with a seasoning roast that I kind of wanted it not to go too long, I'm happy with it. So we suggest at Mill City that you do four more seasoning roasts just the way I did it. So we suggest five seasoning roasts to get your roaster up and running, to clean out the drum, to get the metal ready for roasting, and to kind of get a little bit of a little smoother surface on the inside of the drum with the oils and things like that. So now I've done one, so I would want to do two or three more just like this, and then maybe a fourth and fifth would be a little bit more of a dark roast profile that I'm trying to replicate, bring over, or something like that, or try and just do a really nice dark, um, go really dark, but uh, roast something that you can actually drink and cup. So, yep, so that's the seasoning roast. I'm just gonna scoop out a little bit, just to kind of show you all how dark it went. So, yep, that's about as dark as we wanna go, and that's pretty perfect for a seasoning roast.